high inflation has caused charitable giving in the U.S. to drop significantly, according to a Giving USA report. That includes fewer vehicles being donated to nonprofits. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan joins us with a look at how the hot car market is putting a pinch on charities as well as the tax refunds. Heather? Yeah, so with high car prices, uh, uh, Cars for Kids says that they are definitely seeing a drop in cars being donated. Uh, but also, buyers now are actually keeping their old clunkers longer despite the wear and tear, or they're buying older used vehicles. So the question is, will that bode well for more donations in the future to help the charities in need? I was like, I really don't think I can make it through high school. I think I should just drop out and just, you know, live, I guess, a dropout life. Instead, Texans Can Academy is giving 18-year-old Carly Berglund a new lease on graduating. It's having me set my own pace. So, because all the teachers here are extremely kind, understanding. Texas Can Academies help students who are often at risk. Some that have gone through some emotional um, stress, either they've been kicked out of the house, they are now parents themselves. They provide education and things they need, like rent, food, school supplies, funded largely through vehicle donations. Right off the car, not the kid. Cars for Kids says annual vehicle donations declined from about 10,000 nationwide pre-COVID to about 7,000. We've seen our donations uh, drop. Obviously, with, with the ability for donors or potential donors to actually turn around and sell their vehicle for three, four times what it might have been worth in the past. But it says the hot car market has driven up the average value per donated vehicle from $1,400 to $1,900. So the increase in the price per vehicle has kind of offset the loss in donations for us as an organization. Benefits to donors include helping people in need and a tax write-off. Most of the time, and they're going to sell the car. And if they sell the car, your deduction may be the fair market. Uh, instead of the fair market value, it'll be what they sell it for. In this hot car market, drivers are keeping cars longer and buying older used cars, which Texans Can hopes could help fuel future donations and future graduates. If I went to like my old public school, I really wouldn't have time to do this because I'd be so crammed with studies. So if you want to get a tax deduction for a car donation, you want to make sure the charity is a 501c3. They're going to send you a 1098C form with the sales price that they sold it for. If it's under $500, you can still claim the full $500. And if it's over $500, you're going to claim the actual sales price. All right, so Heather, you know, we hear about scams, but how can we be sure we're donating to a legitimate charity? Yeah, just go to Sullivan Smart Sense on fox26houston.com. I've got two links to help you with that. One is a link to the IRS, which verifies whether the charity is a 501c3 or not. And Charity Watch will also show you how much of your contribution will actually go toward the cause. They say top charities start at about 75%. All right. Hey, that's good info to know, Heather. Usually we'd say thanks for taking one for the team outside, but I bet you're enjoying it out there today. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's beautiful out here today. We're loving it. Now you're going to not want to come in. All right. Well, thanks again for the info. <laughs>